What's up, everybody? Rob Dog with another episode of Buzzing on a Budget, where I'm always trying to find the best drinks and the best prices and give you a little review. So today we're going to be reviewing the Boddington's Pub L, all the way from Manchester, England. Now, I picked this up at the local Wally World. Check this out on the clearance rack. So normally, I believe it was $6.78. Picked it up for $3.50. Four pack of pints. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this up. And while I'm pouring this up, uh, I'll give you a little history and a little background about the beer. So, uh, this does have a, you know, one of them little CO2 things in there. So, as you can see, it got some nice carbonation. Now, there's um, instructions on here how to serve it, how to pour it, and the right temperature to drink it at. So, as you can see, there's some condensation coming off my can. So, I've been letting this sit out for a little bit, you know, just to warm up a little bit, like it says. So, I suck at pouring, but I'm going to do the best I can. Now, this is what this beer is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be a thick, creamy, rich beer. You can check it out. It actually got like uh, almost two heads on there. You got this nice white head on the top. And you got a little beige uh, kind of creaminess uh, from the little... Hear that? All right, so while we're letting this settle, give you a little bit of background on this. So like I said, it was uh, developed in 1778. Well, at least that's what it says. It was first brewed in the Strongway Brewery in Manchester. But I believe in 1989, it was bought out by a white bread uh, company. Uh, by the 90s, this was known as the uh, Cream of Manchester. So it was getting pre pretty popular at that time. I believe by 1997, uh, they were exporting to 40 different countries, so that's including the states. So I believe it's been around since 1997. I may be wrong. Uh, correct me if I am. Um, but yeah, I got this at the local Wally World, so you know maybe this is uh, nationwide. So if you tried it out, let me know what you think about it. Um, you know, so like I said, it's supposed to be smooth and creamy. As you can see, we got a nice white head on there. Uh, nice uh, tint. Um, you know, nice light amber brown. You know, but uh, look at that head, man. Uh, that just looks nice and pretty. You know, it looks like a damn freaking commercial, man. But let's go ahead and give this a taste. Alright, it's pretty awesome. It is a... Uh, not as smooth, or I mean, it is smooth, but not as creamy and heavy mouthfeel as I thought it'd have. Um, it is a little warm, and I thought it'd be a lot bitter, but it's actually pretty smooth. I mean, you get like a nice little sweetness in the beginning. Uh, yeah, just kind of like a little mellow, kind of grainy, kind of little grassy, mild flavor in the beginning. You got a Nice little bitterness at the end. Uh, a lot more mild than I thought. Especially having uh, let it sit for a little bit. At room temperature, you know. Uh, still a little chilly, but not, you know, quite as cold as you drink a normal beer. But, uh... It's easy, easy drinking. You know, it's pretty smooth. A uh, little bit, like, more flavor than a lager. A little bit of hoppiness. Um, some little malt bitterness, but, um... Like I said, it's pretty light. So, I mean, uh, if you're from Manchester or you're out there in the UK, man, uh, let me know what this is like over there. I mean, is this a really good beer out there or is this just like the fake stuff you guys give us, you know, or ship out? But uh, overall, I think it's pretty good, man. It's pretty nice. You know, the carbonation is great. Still got a nice head on there. You know, you got that... Uh, little co2 that gives it that freshness but yeah i'm gonna give this a thumbs up especially for the price i got it at uh might check this check this out again at the regular price but yeah go ahead check it out if you get a chance uh leave a like comment subscribe as always never drink and drive always drink responsibly make sure legal drinking agent man give a toast